Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of One Sober to Another. I'm Wayne, and today I'm talking about the promises in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. Let's go. So, good morning. Glad to see all of you out there. Sober or not, welcome to the channel. If you want to get sober and you don't know how to do it, take a little from this channel. Take a little bit from the other stuff that we put out here on One Sober to Another, and you might be on your way. Stuff quick. Everybody wants stuff fast. And for me, I wanted stuff immediately uh, growing up in sobriety. And I also wanted things quick, easy, and without hesitation. The prayer in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous in chapter 6. The reason why I'm looking down is because I'm actually thumbing through my book right now because I lost my spot. Look, big shout out to Sober Daddy High on Life. He is doing much better now. He is should be in day five of his sobriety and hopefully striving towards recovery. My man had a rock bottom experience. That I'm not going to go into because that's completely his business. However, um, I think this time it's going to work for him. And I hope so for him and his family. God bless them all. That they are able to make it through and thrive in life. Um, because he definitely deserves it. Everybody deserves a fair shot at life. And everybody deserves a bit of happiness. Also, a quick shout out to... AK free your ghost. She is on Twitter. She's on Instagram. She has amazing content on a podcast and she is going to hook me up with some free your ghost bracelets that I'm going to do a giveaway for here on this channel in the coming future. If you haven't subscribed yet, take the chance to subscribe. I want to thank all the people who have subscribed to the channel. I want to make something real clear. Um, the promises says that I have fear of people and fear of, I mean, free, freedom from the fear of people and freedom from the fear of economic insecurity. My channel is not about getting subscriptions. I just want to make that certain and clear. My channel is about helping people get sober. Um, and if you're in sobriety, just giving you a little info to drive you along and hopefully give you a small refresher on why you got sober in the first place. It's very important because I recently received some feedback that, uh, you know, I just want subscribers. If I wanted subscribers, I wouldn't be doing um, a channel on, on recovery and sobriety because there's many out there and there's definitely uh, many more who do it better than me. However, I am excited about my sobriety and I love my journey and I, I love life as I see it now instead of through the the bottom uh, reflection of a bottle. It's much gooder for me, and it can be much gooder for you as well. So if you bear with me, I'm just going to read the promises real quick, and we're going to talk a little bit about them and what they actually mean. I hope that you're having an awesome day while I find my page. It's going to be a nice balmy 90 degrees here in Deutschland again today. Um, for those who are not familiar with Fahrenheit, it's going to be about 35 degrees Celsius. Los Gates, let's go. If we are painstaking about this phase of our development, we will be amazed before we are halfway through. We are going to know a new freedom and a new happiness. We will not regret the past nor wish to shut the door on it. We will comprehend the word serenity. And we will know peace. No matter how far down the scale we have gone, we will see how our experience can benefit others. That feeling of uselessness and self-pity will disappear. We will lose interest in selfish things and gain interest in our fellows. Self-seeking will slip away. Our whole attitude and outlook upon life will change. Fear of people and economic insecurity will leave us. We will intuitively know how to handle situations which used to baffle us. We will suddenly realize 
that God is doing for us what we couldn't do for ourselves. Are these extravagant promises? We think not. They are being fulfilled among us, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. They will always materialize if we work for them. Whew, that's a, that's a mouthful, right? So if God is off-putting for you, just take that word out. Um, it is a huge part of uh, a 12-step program, uh, a spiritual building. But if that's not your thing, that's okay. Just take the word God out and the meaning is still the same. They will always materialize if we work for them. You know, in sobriety for me, nothing was immediate. I had to do and still do a daily work in order to maintain my sobriety and to be able to have the privilege to pass it on to folks like you. I was watching a, a video um, just the other day about hangovers. Um, and the, the gentleman who posted, he actually has a YouTube channel called The Sober Journey. Clever guy. Um, he is 13 years sober now. Um, but he was talking about how he still once in a while thinks about having a beer. I mean, who doesn't? You know, if, if you don't, if you're living sober and you are an addict or you're, you're an alcoholic, if you don't think about things once in a while, I think you're lying to yourself. Um, just my opinion, man. I think you're lying to yourself if you say, I never think about drinking or I never think about um, banging a, a gram or whatever. Um, it, <laughs> Because, um, you know, for me, I drank for 23 years. How am I not going to think about it once in a while? But that's exactly what it just is. It's a fleeting thought. And that thought, you know, comes in and it goes away, which is really, I mean, it's okay. Um, it's quite normal. And my wife, I mean, she drinks. So once in a while when I see her frosted glass on a hot summer day like this, you know, I, I, I have a glimpse moment to where I'm like, and that would be really nice. But then I quickly think about what the hell happened every time that I did drink. So that's an easy dismissal for me to be to say to myself, I don't want that crap anymore. So I don't want the drink that's sitting right there. Uh, if you watched any of my last videos, you know, the 12 ounces, man, they they had a hold on me for decades, you know, 23 years, like I said. To, to know that I don't have to suffer with the obsession of alcohol anymore and to know that I got money in the bank, like I said before in my video, the amends, uh, making amends, um, why would I trade that? Why would I trade that for that 12 ounces? You know, that I know what happens when I, when I drink it. You know, alcohol is poison. And I have a huge allergy to alcohol. In the promises, it also says that, you know, we got to work. Yeah, you got to work. The promises will come true if we work for them. You know, for me, it's working my program and it's um, living a daily amends to my son, living a daily amends to my wife, and just reading my daily reflections. For me, praying to God, um, I, I simply thank God for my sobriety and my family and their health, and I drive on from there. I work out, um, I pay my bills on time, and these are things that are in part of my, my work for them portion in the promises, is that as long as I do the things that I'm supposed to do in order to maintain sobriety, live a good life, and be a quality person in society, then things will be available to me that used to never be available to me as an act active alcoholic. If you are thinking about turning this video off, don't, because I'm going to tell you where to get this cool mug at the end of the video, once over to another, as well as a t-shirt and a hoodie and a hat. Yes, selfless plug. And also, <clears throat> where you can get a free book 
of Alcoholics Anonymous if you would like one. So we have to be painstakingly honest, right? Um, when it comes to developing the promises for in order for them to come true. If I was painstakingly honest about the things that I did when I was drinking and where alcohol took me in my journey, then I am able to let go of that baggage. That baggage holds me down. It weighs me down and it holds me in resentment. You know, a lot like um, also in the video Making Amends and several others. I mean, because the sobriety is a repetitive cycle. It's a different routine in your life and different than the one that you had while you were in your active use or active addiction. So for me to stay sober, I have to work a daily routine. So that daily routine is going to get mentioned several times throughout my, actually my whole channel. I mean, it's applicable to everything in my life. And for you who want to get sober, a, a new routine is um, important for you to have as well. The promises can come true for you also, as long as you are willing to put in the work. And that's what it really boils down to, um, the work. <sighs> We're going to know a new freedom and a new happiness. Well, I've already described a little bit of that. And if this video is dark today, I want to apologize. Um, we have the blinds partially down because it's daggone hot. Um, got a storm rolling in. The weather should kind of change a little bit, but it's not going to bring any relief to the heat, which is cool. I mean, it's all right. I mean, I'm sober. I'm here. I'm living my day. Um, so knowing a new freedom without the obsession of alcohol is so amazing um, for me. Had drinking 23 years, I think the, the blessing not to have to worry about that is freaking awesome. And that goes back to um, the, the Sober Journey channel where he was talking about hangovers the other day. I mean, God damn, being debilitated by a hangover is freaking horrible. And for those of you who haven't experienced that, perhaps you're not an alcoholic, maybe you are, I don't know, I can't label you, but he was also talking about, yeah, it'd be great to have a drink, but fuck, man, I want to wake up the next day. I want to be able to go fly fishing, you know, which is what he was doing. And for me, I mean, I had a hangover one time that lasted a couple days. Um, matter of fact, I, I had those quite frequently. Um, but this one in particular, I was supposed to uh, do a presentation the next morning. And I, I totally didn't even think about it the day before when I was drinking. Um, so I woke up, I was already in cold sweats, I was already shaking, I was wrapped up in a blanket, it was 95 degrees outside, and 36-ish um, uh, Celsius, for you Celsius folks over in Europe. And I was supposed to do a presentation, I had to call my friend and, and just make up some shit and say I was sick or whatever, and I asked him to cover the presentation and everything else. And reluctantly, he did because he was actually drinking with me the night before. And um, so he handled it. But I had so many days to where I just couldn't move. And it sucked. It truly, truly, truly sucked. So, yeah, hangovers are shitty. You know, I, I definitely don't miss that part. And I, I'm glad that he spoke about that in his video because I, I had forgotten how bad they sucked. Until I, you know, once in a while I see my wife where she's all groggy and uh, irritated the next day. Um, but, yeah. So, I don't have to worry about that anymore. And that's part of my new freedom. And also part of my new freedom is not having to worry about my finances. You know, they're pretty much in order. And if I come up short a little bit, that's only because we're getting ready to do an add-on for the house. And my wife is saving up a lot of the money in order to do that. You know, which is, which is also freaking amazing um, part of the promises, you know, materializing if I work for them. I did not think that I'd be doing an add-on to a house. I literally thought that I would be dead by now. And so for me, that's my 
pure reason, you know, to stay sober is because I'm not dead and I am enjoying life and you can enjoy life too and you can thrive in your life. Um, if you truly want to change what you're doing and the way you're living it, um, because that's what it takes. It takes your desire. Nobody can do it for you, um, which is unfortunate because a lot of bystanders get crushed up in our, our uh, chaos. But if we're able to get through them, reaching out to people that we know and love, we are able to develop a new freedom and a new way of living um, through the promises as well. You don't have to agree with the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, you know, because these, all the lessons in this book, regardless if it's the 12 steps or not, are applicable to you in your recovery. Um, or if you want to get sober, actually open this thing and check it out because that shit in there can save your life. It saved mine. So, um, Anyway, that's all I got for this morning. I hope that you are having a good day. Uh, a lot of you are probably either just waking up right now or if you're in the United States, uh, you still got a couple hours to go or you're still awake. I got much love and respect for anyone trying to get sober. And I got much love for the alcoholic and addict who still suffers because I know the struggle. If you are struggling and you want to reach out, Hit me up on Instagram. You can DM me um, at one sober to another. You can follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm also on Facebook under my real name. Check that out in the profile. Again, streamlabs.com. There's a link below for um, you to be able to get my mug. If you haven't subscribed, don't worry about it. I mean, the promises will, will happen for me. they materialize if I work for them. Sometimes slowly, sometimes quickly. But it would be cool. Um, also, drop a comment below. And you have an amazing day.